DJ Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube he pulls Chad to do another reaction. Got to talk about this brother, Dirty Dom, Dominic Mysterio, and why people hate him so much. Hi, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in in in, in with the millions? <laughs> oh, and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, Baby J Rock is here, man. We're about to check out this video. Why people hate Dominique Mysterio so much? You know, what J Rock says this: When you look out throughout the annals of WWE history, some of the most hated heels. You go back to the Iron Sheik, uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, Mr. McMahon, Triple H, Randy Orton, Roddy Roddy Piper, right? Some of these heels, they had a thing about them that they came across as if they, A, felt like they were either better than you, or B, they, they were, it wasn't just the pompous or arrogantness of them, it was the lack of appreciation, Maybe they got into a feud, something that we could relate to. And I think that's one of the biggest things that has helped Dom become, the, in my opinion, the top heel in WWE. This dude literally, literally gets booed out of every building he goes into, right? And I think people don't give Dom the credit he deserves as far as him being a great wrestler. Before he turned heel, Dom was having some good matches. Uh, but now that, you know, he's seen like the, you know, of the four members of Judgment Day, he's like the amateur of the group, right? <clears throat> and so he's always got, you know, uh, mommy with him, Rhea Ripley. Somebody's always helping him win matches, keep the title, etc. And so then you combine them with the fact of how he treated his father, treated his dad, you know, the legend, legendary Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. And so you put all that together, you mix it up, you get Dirty Dog. And so we're going to talk about here, before we do that, make sure you lay it L smack down it on that subscribe button. Give that like button, the rock bottom, that super thanks button, the people's elbow. All right? We're not going to waste some more time. Decades now, Rey Mysterio has acted as a human highlight reel of sports entertainment. World yep. Championships, WrestleMania moments, and an entry into the WWE Hall of Fame have all secured Rey's legacy as one of the greatest luchadors in history. Yeah, so when rumors began in 2018 that his son, Dominic, was training to become a pro wrestler, fans were intrigued to see what he would do in the ring once he actually entered the WWE. However, fast forward to 2023, and Dominic is a much different man than what many people expected for him to be. He's actually become perhaps the most hated man in the company, stepping out of his father's shadow to carve a path full of lying, cheating, and stealing. I'm Grisha from Wrestleology, and today, let us take a look at the career of Dominic Mysterio so far to see how the son Rhea of WWE's such a biggest cutie. hero became one of the biggest heels of the modern era. Also, quickly before we start, I started a second wrestling channel where I'll be posting quizzes, trivia, tier lists, and vlogs, so check out Grisha WO in the description below. But before we begin, talking about Dominic's time as an in-ring performer, we need to go all the way back to 2005. Rey Mysterio was on the rise in WWE, already being a former tag team and cruiserweight champion by this point. His matches in WCW have already become stuff of legend, and his time as a member of the famous SmackDown 6 only enhanced his popularity. But through all of it, Rey had developed a love-hate relationship with Eddie hmm. Guerrero. The two were linked throughout their careers, putting on some of the best matches of all time with their feud bubbling back up leading into SummerSlam 05. But this feud became even more personal when Dominic was involved. Eddie claimed to be the real father of Dominic, sending an uncomfortable shockwave throughout the Mysterio family. So, Ray and Eddie battled over the custody of Dominic yeah. Mysterio in a now infamous ladder match at SummerSlam. Yeah, man. But while Eddie fought ruthlessly to take Ray's son from him, Eddie would ultimately lose the match following an interference from his wife, Vicky. 
Ray pulled down the custody papers, securing Dominic as his beloved son. But even though Dominic had secured his status as a true member of the Mysterio family, that uncomfortable shockwave I mentioned would continue to linger on throughout Dominic's upbringing. But we'll get into more of that later. For now, Dominic looked into the future as he embarked on a new journey alongside his father. In 2018, Dominic began training under world-renowned names like Ray and Jay Lethal in preparation for his time in WWE. No longer was he the scared little boy hiding from Eddie Guerrero and CM Punk, as he was in 2010 during Ray's feud with the Straight Edge Society. No, Dominic looked to finally kick off his career as he made his first appearance in WWE as an adult in 2019 during Ray's feud with Samoa Joe. On an episode of SmackDown leading into WrestleMania 35, no, Samoa Joe Dominic was chosen care. as the man to announce that Ray would be challenging Joe for the United States title at the show of shows. But even though Ray failed to capture the title, shockingly losing to Joe in under a minute, Dominic yeah. would continue to make sporadic appearances alongside his father. But things really started picking up during Ray's feud with Seth Rollins. As Seth and his then disciple Murphy looked to quote, help and save Monday Night Raw, it would actually be Dominic who would stand up on behalf of his father. Following an attack by Seth, Dominic returned to Raw to save Ray only to fall victim of an attack as well. They sent his father yeah. into a fit of rage as he challenged Rollins to an eye for eye match at Extreme Rules and the only way to win this eye frankly bizarre match is by somehow extracting your opponent's eye out of its socket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pandemic wrestling was a pretty weird time to say the least, but yeah. anyway, Seth won his match by leaving the Mysterio family disgusted. So, Dominic decided to get his hands dirty by finally having his first ever match in WWE against Rollins in a street fight. However, while Dominic had a match very too. impressive matchup, especially for it being his debut on a grand stage like SummerSlam, Seth would ultimately get the victory. Yes, despite Rey Mysterio trying to interfere on behalf of his son, Rollins was still able to hit the curb stomp on Dominic as Rey was handcuffed to the second row. A week later at Payback, Rey teamed up with his son for the first time to defeat Murphy and Rollins though. And Rey would finally conclude the feud with Rollins on the November 13th episode of SmackDown in a no holds barred match. Rey would end up hitting a 619 and a frog splash on Seth to get the win. Of course, Rey had some assistance from Murphy who turned his back on Rollins after Murphy had started forming a romantic bond with Ray's daughter and Dominic's sister, Aaliyah. Yeah. After the match, Murphy received a warm welcome into the Mysterio family by Ray, his wife Angie, and Dominic. But now that the feud with Seth was over, Ray and Dominic looked to carve a new path as the duo was heading into 2021. Following the Royal Rumble event, where both Ray and Dominic were eliminated from the match, the two would start their hunt as a tag team looking to take home the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And they actually seemed to be a rather impressive duo, defeating the likes of the Street Profits as they worked their way towards the titles, but finally at WrestleMania Backlash, the father-son team would get the better of the then champions Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, as Dominic won his first title in WWE alongside his father. But after they earned themselves the tag titles, another family would start to rise to power in the WWE as the Bloodline yes. formed less than a year later. Coincidentally, the Bloodline story can actually be traced back to that very same SummerSlam event Event, where Dominic had his debut match with Roman turning heel at the end of the show. Yep. Roman, Jay, and Jimmy all looked to take the titles away from Ray and Dominic. However, following their victory over the Usos on an episode of SmackDown, Dominic will ultimately end up suffering due to an attack by the Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Ray looked to get revenge on Roman in a Hell in a Cell match for the Universal title on SmackDown, but Ray Which unfortunately was, was unable to get the job done as he was added to the list of victims by the Tribal Chief, which I covered in an earlier video on the channel that you should check out. Not the most up-to-date video, and maybe we have to redo that, but it was still a good watch. So, this then rolled over into the following month's Money in the Bank event where the Usos finally got the better of Ray and Dominic once again becoming the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Following the loss, Ray and Dominic would hang around SmackDown until the 2021 draft where Ray and Dominic both went over to Raw, but as Dominic and Ray switch brands, they would then look to defend Raw at the upcoming Survivor Series event in the yearly 5 on 5 Raw vs SmackDown Elimination Tag Team match. However, alongside Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Kevin Owens, 
Dominic Mysterio noticeably looked a bit out of place. So Adam Pearce officially booked a match between Bobby Lashley and Dominic Mysterio with the winner heading to Survivor Series as a member of Team Raw. After right. all, Bobby was a former world champion and Dominic was still in his career infancy. And of course, the dominant Lashley won and Rey Mysterio was soon also replaced by the hot upstart Austin Theory. And to add even more emotional damage to the Mysterios, Team Raw would actually get the victory at Survivor Series due to the help of Theory and Lashley. However, to make up for this, Dominic and Rey would look to recapture some tag team gold by competing in the number one contenders tournament for RK Bros Raw tag team titles. And while they very much impressed during the tournament, they ultimately fell short in the finals, losing to the Street Profits. But now we head into 2022, and even though they weren't able to win the number one contenders tournament, they still had WrestleMania in their sights. And in the build up to WrestleMania, the Mysterios found themselves involved in a feud with none other than The Miz. After The Miz cheated to defeat Dominic on an episode of Raw, Rey looked to get some revenge on behalf of his son by competing against The Miz at Elimination Chamber. Notably, during this feud heading into Elimination Chamber, The Miz took a shot at Rey by reminding everyone that Dominic might not be his son, referencing uh. the feud between Eddie and Rey <clears throat> we mentioned earlier. This reminder would end up becoming very important in Dominic's character, as Dominic would start to copy the mannerisms of Eddie during his time in the ring. But at Elimination Chamber, Rey got the victory over the Miz via a roll-up pin, and The Miz would end up blaming Dominic for this loss as he was ringside for the match while The Miz walked down to the ring on his own that night. So he decided to bring in a tag team partner to take on both Ray and Dominic at Logan WrestleMania 38, and Paul. shockingly, The Miz would actually be bringing in Logan Paul to help him fight against the Mysterios. Interestingly, WWE portrayed Paul as a heel with both The Miz and Logan attacking the Mysterios on Raw. And in Dominic's first match at WrestleMania, he would end up losing alongside his father after The Miz performed his skull-crushing finale on Rey. Dominic by this point was definitely in a rut in his career. After suffering loss after loss after loss alongside his dad, Dominic needed something new to chew on. Fortunately then, the Mysterios would start a feud that would completely change the trajectory of Dominic's career. After Edge was kicked out of the very same group that he created, the Judgment Day looked to Dominic Mysterio as their next potential recruit. So, Rey and Dominic looked to fight off the dangerous trio of Rhea Ripley, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest. And while Judgment Day did target Rey, Dominic did end up feeling like he was especially being targeted in these attacks by the group. So, in looking to conclude the feud, Rey and Dominic would take on Balor and Priest in a no disqualification match at SummerSlam. There, they would actually pick up the victory following Edge's return. This, however, yes. really looked to prolong the feud yes. between Mysterios and Judgment Day, as Rey would yes. love to help his longtime friend destroy the same group that he created. After all, Edge and Rey used to be tag team champions in the early 2000s, yeah. so they have a pretty good history of working together as a team. But with Dominic now being added to the mix, fans would start to question what he would do next. There was even a moment during a brawl between Judgment Day and their adversaries where Edge accidentally speared Dominic, causing tension between the two. And of course, when Ray stepped up on behalf of Edge, Dominic was left feeling kind of betrayed by his father. Later that evening, during a match between Ray and Balor, Rhea Ripley would drag the bloodied and bruised carcass of Dominic to the stage with Finn using the distraction to get the win. So Ray and Edge would continue to take on Judgment Day as they all competed in a tag team match at Clash at the Castle. There, Dominic would accompany Edge and Mysterio yes. down to the ring before they would get the victory over Judgment Day following a 619 and spear combo. Following the match though, Dominic finally made his choice to join Judgment Day after attacking both Edge and Rey Mysterio with a low blow and clothesline respectively. He finally cut ties with his father, Edge, and the WWE Universe as he turned heel for the first time in his career. The following yeah. day, Dominic would come out on Raw alongside Rhea Ripley with a darker and greasier look than we've ever seen before. He would even join the Judgment Day in attacking both Edge and his father, fully pushing them away. And from here, Dominic's character would hey, end up mirroring Eddie Guerrero's Latino heat gimmick, with Ripley replacing China as Dominic's mommy. Ray would continue pleading with his son to come home back to the Mysterio family, but Dominic was already rooted in the Judgment Day. He even went so far as to help Finn Balor defeat Edge at Dream Rules in an I Quit match, 
joining in on the disgusting attack on Edge's wife, Beth this Phoenix. This was That, combined with all the torment that Ray had gone through with his son, led excellent. him to transfer over to SmackDown so that he can continue his career away from all this family drama. Meanwhile, as a part of Judgment Day, Dominic would continue to torment the Raw roster. But with Dominic proving to be a solid recruit for the group, Finn Balor would look to add another member with AJ Styles being offered the role in Judgment Day. And with their history and Bullet Club over in New Japan Pro Wrestling, fans were actually pretty interested to see exactly where this story would take us. Styles would end up turning this offer down as he brought back the formerly released Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson though, reforming the OC. And this then led to a six-man tag team match at Crown Jewel where Judgment Day got the victory over the OC due to the numbers game being outweighed in the favor with Ripley at ringside. But while Finn chose to continue his feud with Styles more on his own, Dominic and Ripley would pay a little visit to his father. On both Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve, Dominic and Rhea Ripley would confront the Mysterio family. On Thanksgiving, Dominic and Rhea attacked the <coughs> Mysterio with the Mysterios getting a level of revenge on Christmas Eve. During that confrontation, the police would arrive this at the was Mysterio hilarious. home to arrest this Dominic was and hilarious. take him to jail. This would actually end up benefiting Dominic's character as he would play up the fact that he was in jail by saying that he had served time in prison with the most dangerous even though he was only in county jail for a few hours. Yes, despite Rey Mysterio calling the cops on his son on Christmas Eve, Dominic still came out of this whole scene as an even bigger scumbag. But after traumatizing his family, Dominic would look to earn himself some more championship gold, this time as a member of the Judgment Day. While the Usos took the SmackDown Tag Team Championships from both Rey and Dominic earlier in his career, Dominic and Priest would look to capture the Raw tag titles from the twins on an episode of Raw. And even though Jimmy Uso was replaced in that match by one simple but brilliant trick to heat your home in 90 seconds and save thousands of dollars on your heating bill this winter. This genius way to heat any room fellow Bloodline member at the time, Sami Zayn, Dominic and Priest would still fail to get the job done and fail to capture the titles. But despite Dom walking away without tag team gold, his path to WrestleMania 39 would become more clear during the Royal Rumble match later that month. During the match, Rey Mysterio was set to enter at number 17, but when his music played, nobody came out. While the competitors in the middle of the ring were probably relieved to see that they didn't have to deal with the living legend, fans were wondering what could have happened to the beloved superstar. However, at number 18, the fans would get their answer as they would watch Dominic make his entrance wearing his father's mm. mask. Presumably they, after taking out his father. Ooh, you just wanted to evening. strangle this and little sure, while he eventually was eliminated by Cody Rhodes, Dominic was still seen as one of WWE's most annoying heels, especially after this moment in the Rumble match. Yeah. And to add even more insult to injury, a few weeks later on Valentine's Day, Dominic and Ripley once again disrupted a family holiday by intruding on Ray and his wife's Valentine's Day dinner. Interestingly, Ray and Angie would end up giving up their table to the young couple. Cut ahead a few hours later though, and Dominic looking to pay the bill would find out that his card had declined. So with Dominic continuing to hype himself up as a dangerous and wanted man from prison, he ran out the building claiming that the cops were there to surprise and arrest him. Ripley of course was left to pay the bill. Dominic would continue to torment his father over the next few weeks, disrupting his matches and disrespecting him on the microphone. He would even call Ray a coward because Ray refused to hit his son despite everything that Dominic threw at him. The insults would escalate as Dominic's desire to fight his dad turned into a challenge for WrestleMania, but Ray would continue to refuse this offer for a match. However, eventually enough was enough and Ray finally punched Dominic after yes! he disrespected finally! the of the Mysterio family, finally! notably his own mother yes! who was sitting at ringside during the segment. And to add to all Ooh! this, Ray also agreed to have the match at WrestleMania to put an yes! end to this feud once and for all. But finally! The only thing on Ray Mysterio's mind to WrestleMania weekend. That year, Ray was also actually being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Word, so, word. with Ray looking to place his name among the greats in the industry, he would also look to solve this very personal matter with the next generation of the Mysterio family. But as Ray was walking down the ramp for his Hall of Fame speech, he noticeably avoided his son who was sitting alongside the rest of Judgment Day for the event. And Dominic responded to this by walking out during Ray's Hall of Fame speech alongside Ripley and Priest. Oh, and at WrestleMania, pizza. the two men entered the arena looking to finally settle this family feud. 
Dominic even had his own special entrance for the occasion. Yeah. Walking out to the ring I, now a completely different gotta give him than credit the original for that. we saw during his debut just a few years prior. He came down to the ring handcuffed and escorted by police officers all while wearing his own version of a Rey Mysterio mask themed around the color scheme of Judgment Day. And the fight was on, as both men held back nothing. Ray was so angry with his son, he even went so far as to attack him with a belt. Dominic decided to respond to this beating by taunting his mother and sister at ringside, but they would be joined at ringside by Dom's fellow Judgment Day teammates in Balor and Priest. But Ray had backup of his own, as Legado del Fantasma yeah. ran down to the ring to attack them. It was all absolute chaos before Rey Mysterio. They should have let Dom win this, though. They should have let Dom win. His son to get the win. Of course, he also had pop star Bad Bunny to thank as he helped Rey get the victory alongside Legado del Fantasma. But of course, Rey was going to smack down and Dominic couldn't get his revenge on his father. So on the Raw after WrestleMania, Dominic targeted Bad Bunny after his involvement in the match. And when Bad Bunny struck back at Dominic with a punch to the face, Damian Priest avenged his fallen partner by choke slamming Bad Bunny through Woo! the announcer's table. That of course spun off into the amazing match that we saw earlier this year at Backlash. Yeah, this was a gambit month match. Between Damian Priest and Bad Bunny. There, Bad Bunny would end up getting the victory over Priest despite interference from the other members of Judgment Day, and this was due to his Yo, help from the Latino World the Order, a returning Saudi for Carlito Omega, was and a returning Carlito. Massive. And by this point, Dominic was easily turning into like, one of the most hated men in professional wrestling. Particularly on the May 1st episode of Raw, Dominic was seen showered by booze from the crowd. Yeah. Something about his entitled and annoying character following everything that had happened between Dominic and his father brought a level of hatred out of the WWE universe that is typically saved for only the most detestable heels. By that May 1st episode Which of Raw, him? Dominic had cemented himself as the slimiest character in the company. After all, he's the son of Rey Mysterio, yet he talks about that like it's a bad thing. And this aspect of his character as someone who has a personal hatred for fathers who leave their families at home brought Dominic to one of the most overstars on the roster in Cody Rhodes. During an episode of Miz TV, Dominic would interrupt Cody by calling him a bad father for leaving his baby daughter while he worked on the road. Dominic would then slap Cody in the face before immediately running behind Rhea Ripley for protection. Cody would later challenge Dominic to a match, which Rhea accepted on behalf of Dom Dom following another cheap shot. But at Money in the Bank, it was a pretty straight affair as Cody hit the crossroads to secure the victory. But what did he do following this major loss at Money in the Bank? Well, like a rat, he scurried away from Ross, surprisingly running down to NXT. Which, of course, is ironic considering the fact that he skipped the entire NXT system by jumping straight onto the main roster due to the family connection to Rey Mysterio. Uh -huh. But with him skipping that system, Dominic never got a chance to hold NXT gold. So, he competed against Wes Lee for the NXT North American title. And, won. and Via the assistance of Rhea Ripley, who took a cheap shot with her World Heavyweight title while the ref was distracted, Dominic scored the victory to win his first singles title in the WWE. And that's pretty much the story up until now. So when looking back at Dominic's short career so far in the WWE, it's hard to say that it hasn't been impressive. Obviously, this new Dirty Dom character has become the most annoying part of Raw due to his detestable personality, but Dominic is such a wildly layered character. Since debuting in 2019, the character of Dominic has seen such a wild transformation. While he came in as a plucky young babyface alongside his father, his heel turn combined with his position in the Judgment Day has seen him soar to new heights that many people didn't even think were possible. And remember, he still has his entire career ahead of him, an entire career to get better, hone his craft, and perhaps even become the biggest heel in the entire WWE, because sure, right now yes. Roman Reigns probably holds that spot, but yeah. if Dominic continues this path, then he definitely has a long career of being one of the top names in the company. While he's alienated himself from his family, his new family in the Judgment Day has seen Dominic inch ever closer to that main event scene. I mean, think of the names he's already competed against. Cody Rhodes, The Usos, AJ Styles, his legendary father Rey Mysterio, and so many more have placed their names next to someone like Dominic Mysterio. And he has used every single one of those opportunities as a way to grow in both his character and his ring prowess. No longer does he stand behind the immense five foot six shadow of his father as he now stands on his own alongside his mommy, Rhea Ripley, as the most hated man in the WWE. Can't blame it. Subscribe if you enjoy. Well, J-Rock says this. It's a formula that has worked. You think about 
back when Shane McMahon, right, stepped on the scenes as the son or the prodigal son, if you will, of Vince McMahon. Came out as a baby phase. He was the one who hired back Stone Cold. Then Vince said, okay, you're going to be a lowly referee. Ends up turning heel, you know, wins the European Championship, hardcore title, on and on and on, and then Shane O'Mac is born, right? Same thing with Stephanie. Stephanie came, burst on the scenes. Vince's daughter, you know, starts dating um, the late um, Test, and what happens? She's viewed as a baby face. Everything is good. Then she joins joins forces with uh, her father's, you know, nemesis at the time, Triple H, right? And so it, it's a formula that has worked. Family members of legends come in as baby faces, you know, depending on, you know, how their particular parent is viewed. But in this case, Rey Mysterio, one of the greatest ultimate baby faces of all time, has never been a heel um, from what I can remember. Well, back when he was with the LWO and WCW, you can say he was a heel then, I guess. Um, but same with Roman. Is Roman a really a heel heel? Right, like, Roman gets cheers and boos, right? It, it's sort of like the, the the Hollywood rock. He was a heel, but how much of a heel was he really? Same with Roman. How much of a heel is Roman? Yeah, he has his times where he's booed. Then he has his time where the whole crowd is chanting Roman, Roman, you know. And so it's just, I, I don't really view Roman as a heel heel. Dominic's a heel. Ain't nobody cheering for him. This dude gets booed out of the building. You can't even hear people talk. That's how loud it is right now. But um, I'm, I'm just waiting to see how much further they go with him in Judgment Day. Um, you know, he's uh, had a run and waiting to see what's next for Mysterio, um, Ray Mysterio. They're trying to replace him, but ain't no replacing Ray Mysterio, bro. But be that as it may, y'all let me know what y'all think. Post your comments down below. Let Jay Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed Ray Wins reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining Jay Rock. Stay tuned next week. Mamba GG and Wakanda forever. Here we are. Excuse me. Here you go. What's a rock?